Wow, check this out. 7,351 rooms. First world hotel. Even has a Genesis World Records certificate. Tanya, Malaysia does it big. Look at this guy, so beautiful. This is a beautiful valley here in Malaysia. Niemann Hau! Chayo! 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 You are getting hyped because it's the first time in Ganting Highlands. Come on, guys, you gotta get hyped. Hello, welcome to Ganting Highlands, Malaysia. So I'm in a new area of Malaysia. I have not been here yet, so I was like, might as well bring you along too. So check it out. Look at this. If you want to get high in Malaysia, just come to the highlands. It's beautiful. Mountainous area with uh, awesome buildings. They actually call this the Las Vegas of Malaysia. Believe it or not, this is the only place where I've heard that you can gamble in Malaysia legally. Yeah. But just check out all this greenery over here. It's so beautiful. And believe it or not, I'm actually wearing a hoodie. Yes, I'm wearing long sleeve in Malaysia because the weather here is actually pretty nice. Like if you want to cool down ever in Malaysia, come to the highlands. Or if you ever want to become high in Malaysia, just come to the highlands. Because they do have another place called Cameron Highlands as well. But I have not been there yet as well. So over here where I'm at currently is Outlet Mall in Genting Highlands. So if you do want to come to Genting Highlands from Kuala Lumpur, it takes about one hour. And you're going to end up over here. So let's just go towards this way, which will take you to the Outlet Mall. And then real quick, let me show you. There is a cable car over here that will take you to the main part of Genting Highlands where there's a casino and just some like some more attractions and stuff and also a theme park too. So if you do want to get good prices on stuff in Malaysia that it's like name brand stuff, come here to this outlet mall. Funny, as I started recording, it started to rain. Okay, let's see real quick. So here's a little sign that says, I love Genting Highlands premium outlets. So the area we're at right now, this is called Genting Highlands Premium Outlets. And I would want to show you the directory real quick, but these people are just standing over there. I guess they want to take a picture next to the directory. But yeah, let's just go upstairs real quick. Oh, and by the way, I think many people in Malaysia, like local Malaysians, correct me if I'm wrong, since there's like a gigantic parking structure, a lot of people will park their cars before they go to the main part of Genting Highlands. Because this is the Las Vegas area of Malaysia and also it's on a hilltop so the, or it's on a mountain top so they want to make sure like uh, there's not too many cars and also it's cool just to take the cable car which we will do just soon so we are in the center of the mall this mall is gigantic I could just make a whole video about this but the main purpose today is just to show you this beautiful area in Malaysia I'm still surprised you can see everyone is wearing like long sleeve shirts there's Michael Kors, and there's Coach. You can see people are lining up outside because I guess they have some great deals. And there's a Nike store over there. I did go to the Nike store previously, and I would want to show you guys how it is, but unfortunately, they don't allow cameras inside. You just see a lot of the places like this is Polo Ralph Lauren. This is no camera inside, and just be annoying to record. Many shops are like that. But let me show you. So right now it's 2024, the year of the dragon. So Chinese New Year is approaching right now. So I just want to show you real quick. Yeah, year of the dragon. Beautiful place to take a photo. And there's Armani over there, Armani Outlet. So what I have been seeing so far right now, there's a lot of people that are coming from mainland China, also from India. That's like the, I guess, main people that I've been seeing so far. But a lot of foreigners as well from other countries too. Because I guess this is like also a big tourist attraction. So if you ever do want to come to Malaysia, I advise you guys come over here. All right, so I found a directory of them all just to give you a better glimpse of this area. So check it out. So it's three levels and they have all these different designer fashion sports where you could pause the screen if you want to. Actually, I do see there's a little bit of glare happening on the screen. But basically, they have Krispy Kreme, they have like Burger King, they have all like the major name brands you'd think about, like Tommy Hilfiger, Timberland. Yeah, very gigantic. Definitely want to get some good deals here. Come, come just to this area of Genting Highlands. 
Oh, and by the way, the bus ticket to come to here was only 10 ringgit, which was about in dollars. That's about like $2.20. So we're just a little bit closer to like the bus area you can see over here. They have, they have buses going throughout the whole day, but uh, you just have to know there's like a few locations in Kuala Lumpur to take the bus and you just have to know the timings and you can find the timings online. All right, there's the Adidas outlet. Gosh, really, it just feels, I'm happy. Like I'm at like a new place in Malaysia. Then also I'm like wearing a sweatshirt. Like it feels really cool right now. It's like around, in Celsius, let's say like around like 21, 22. And in Fahrenheit, it's like around like 70 degrees Fahrenheit for all my American viewers out there. Uh, it's funny how we always like talk about temperature. In America, we only use Fahrenheit and in uh, around the world, they use Celsius. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Anyways, I'm gonna go up now and go towards the cable car area and show you how it is to buy a cable car ticket and then we'll go from there. So guys, I just uh, reached to the cable car area, which is right over there. And I just wanna show you before we go on the cable cars, how the atmosphere is. There's like a big like Chinese tourist group over there. She's just telling them like, how to go on the cable car and stuff like don't trip out it's all right guys we got you so yeah so it's just kind of funny like over here so they're all like lining up and stuff niman how chayo 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 yeah so people are getting hyped because it's the first time in Ganting Highlands. Come on, guys, you gotta get hyped. All right, now time to uh, go over here and buy a ticket. You're probably wondering, like, how do I know all this stuff? Because I like walked around, did my research before, and then I started recording. Because I want to give you guys like a full glimpse of how it is. So here's the Skywalk Skyway. I always say Skywalk Skyway ticketing counter over here. But I think they want a lot of people just to order from these machines over here. So we're just gonna go through the entrance real quick and uh, how do we do this? Sorry, I wanna buy a ticket please. Thank you. All right, so we'll go to this machine. Welcome, Salamat Khan. So just right over here they have English, Chinese, and they have Malayu. So I press English. I want to, so look, check this out. I wanna purchase today ticket, future ticket. I wanna redeem my tickets. So you have three options. So let's say I wanna purchase a day ticket. So standard gondola return is gonna be 18. And then they do have a glass gondola, it's gonna be 35 for there and return. Just look over the prices real quick. I wanna do, I wanna go there and come back. So I'm gonna do the return one for 18 ringgit, which is around like uh, in USD, it's around like $4. Okay, next. Payment method is gonna be Visa. And if it says, please insert your Rewards card, go next. I don't have a rewards card. I don't know what that is all about. Okay, just one second. Yes? Uh, which one? This, this, oh, okay, sure. Oh, no, so there's a problem. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, same ticket you want to use go and tax, right? Okay. You want, you want this seat? No, it's okay. It's okay? That's all you need this? Oh, yeah, this is. Say no. Just no, yeah. Alright, thank you. Oh, Sorry, welcome. Welcome. And that's how it is. Awesome, we got the ticket, guys. Standard gondola. Okay, let's see. How do we do this? Hello. How do we do it like this? Oh, there we go. Makasi. So now I have to wait in a line. Oh, well, actually, it's kind of a... Well, look how long the lines can be, and this is where I'm at right now. So I'll see you once I get inside of the gondola and show you how it is. Or cable car. Depart Depending on what you say. Did you say cable car or gondola? I don't know. Oh, you wanna... Oh, you're gonna cut. Oh my god, you're cutting. Time to board the gondola, right? It's timing. So, uh, I just go on this one? Okay. Yay! Hi, hello. 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 So, we're on the gondola right now. Check it out.
Well, it only took like, uh, guys, it only took like five minutes to get inside, but yeah. It's awesome. Check this out. All right, guys. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna just show you real quick of how it is to go up on the gondola, and then once we get up there, I will uh, meet you there. Well, halfway through, I heard there's a Chinese temple, which I will show you too. Oh, we're off. Let me show you real quick. Ooh. Look at those guys. Well, that's where we're at just right now, and now we're going over there. Okay, so we can do a free stop over if we want to go to the temple, the Chinese temple, but I think first we're going to go to the Genting uh, main part, and then maybe if we have time in the end, we'll go to the Chinese temple. I'm kind of like talking low because like the other people inside are just really quiet. As we're going up, I just want to show you there is a road to go up to, to the top, but many people love to just take the cable cars, and I suggest you, if you want to go up, take the gondola cable cars. It's pretty nice. Also kind of scary too. Okay, so now we are passing by the Chinese temple. Forgot what the name is called. They announced it on the screen, but yeah. Just check it out. So if you guys do want to stop midway, you can. Check it out. That's how the temple looks like. It's really cool. I wonder how many floors it is. If they had an elevator, it'd be nice, but I think right now it would take up a lot of our time, so that's why we're not going to stop. You can get a glimpse of it though. Yeah, so the, I guess this is the midway point. So we're going to stop real quick in the midway point for anyone who wants to go to the temple. Then you just have to like walk down from there to all the way there. Yeah, we're probably not going to do that. I could show you how it is real quick. Oh, this is the, it's called Chin Sui Station. Look at this guy, so beautiful. This is a beautiful valley here in Malaysia. So many trees, so many things. Wow. Oh, I just gotta show you more of these views, guys. Oh my god, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, here's the theme park called uh, Genting Sky World, which is supposed to be like an amazing theme park. Yeah, we kind of see like a brief overview. It's kind of cloudy, and then also the glass is blocking it too. But wow, hear the music from over here. And see Sky World. It's kind of cloudy here too. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you want to get a hotel here, they have like a lot of hotels. I heard ranging from like around thirty dollars USD and up to like a decent hotel. Wow, look at that. It's all part of the theme park. Kirk and Co. Motor Shop. Oh, that's cool. I kind of like made this road. Kind of looks like uh, old place in America old like western area I don't think there's wow that'd be nice actually to go to the theme park ice age oh they have like uh dreamwork stuff eyes uh, i think ice age wow there's no ice age oh look we have a ride welcome to sky avenue we are arriving you should eat sydney light jelly Omdala. Yeah. We have arrived, guys. No, Nisha. Oh, we have arrived. Yay! It's a place we can take photo. Oh, hi. Oh, you doing well? Check it out. And that was the ride, guys. It was amazing. Only took about 20 minutes. Now check this out. Wow, where are we? Sold out. Now is where the real fun begins. So we're going to check out this whole building. I heard it's a gigantic, ginormous building. And yeah, check this out. Welcome to the Las Vegas of Malaysia, guys. 
so beautiful. Yes. So many different uh, floors. Oh, it looks like there's a cinema over there. IMAX, I see IMAX. Yeah, but check it out, guys. Lucky draw. Tai Hao Le. Tai Hao Le. So we got the Chinese group over here. I don't know if that was the previous group. There's a lot of groups of people in general. I've seen like a couple Indian groups and yeah. We should make a traveling solo logs group because the guy uh, I was talking to in the cable car, he's a single traveler from China. He was like, yo, I'm just traveling by myself, this and that. So yeah. Well, let's, let's walk around. This is hype. That's funny, I said this is hype and there's a hype outlet right there. It says hype outlet. So if you want to go back to the cable cars, we're going to go this to this place later. But that's at the end of the video. Hi hey guys. Hype outlet. So they have 7-Eleven over here. Digi is like a phone company over here. Hello guys. Hello. Abacaba. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Everyone's taking photos. This is so beautiful over here. Okay, let's keep on walking. Attractions. Oh, they have more shops this way and attractions. Man, this place is gigantic. I think over here we're going to get a better view. All right. Wow. Check this out. We have Swenson's, which is like a Western diner. So it's on some platform. This guy over here, which they do have performances here too, so they're just advertising right now the performance. And over here is an indoor theme park. So they have an outdoor theme park, which we just saw, called Sky Works. And this is the indoor theme park, Sky Tropolis. So everything they say is sky this, sky that, because we're basically in the sky, we're in the clouds. Yeah, awesome. And then right over there is the casino. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. I love you, Adventureland. What is this? And let me know throughout this video, do you, would you ever compare this to Las Vegas? At the end, I will tell you if I remember, do I think this is actually comparable to Las Vegas or not? But let me know if you've been to both places, do you compare it or it's not even comparable? Nice to see you. That's a Korean uh, convenience store. Oh, what is this, uh, the Adventureland? But it looks like it's like Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah, Ripley's. And if you do not know what Ripley's is, uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, is a comedy. They, they had TV shows, also books. It just like, it shows you amazing things around the world, like the world's tallest man, the longest, I don't know, the longest elephant or whatever. It's just like amazing things, like amazing information. This is, seems more like it's more for kids. We're just gonna skim through this area real quick. Got the kitty rides over there. Oh, I can even get a massage. Yeah, this is well. Welcome to Las Vegas. You know what I did notice? Like, it just came to my mind. Anytime when there's like a lot of gambling and stuff, I notice a lot of like Chinese people, or, like Chinese investors, will be there. Even in Las Vegas, a lot of the stuff is like owned by Chinese companies. Okay, so we have Zombie Outbreak over here, Jurassic Research Research Center. Really please believe it or not, Auditorium. That actually seems pretty cool. Uh, should I go there? No. Just stay there for another video, maybe. But this is the area. Check this out. So right now we are approaching the main level. We're about to be on the base level, but I was like, before we do that, let me just show you a little bit more of this place. So if I could describe this place to you guys, because I actually just took a break from recording. It's like a mall fused with a casino. It's like a super mall fused with a casino and some other stuff too. It's definitely worth a day trip. I don't know how long you could actually be here in Malaysia to like have fun here, but I think a day trip would be worth it. Maybe two days max. But I think other than that, uh, I don't know how many things you could do. How if you go to a theme park, that would take like half a day. And then you see, I think two days maybe. I correct myself. A day trip would be good, but I think two days would be really cool too because you check out the hotel, try out the food choices here because they do have a lot of food choices that's definitely something it's really cool too here like yeah it looks like they're actually making food in the window for people to see okay. 
They're making some food here. What are they making? I have no idea. They're making something. Hello, hi guys. So Shabbat, it's cool how like they have the glass like kitchen. Oh, this guy's making some dumplings and stuff. What's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> good food. They're funny. They're like, why is this guy recording? Oh yeah. Anyways, yeah. Ah, oh, Swenson's over here. Okay, so this is an American diner. Yeah, I did see a few times in uh, Malaysia. So hungry. We're never gonna eat in this video, but yeah. Lucky Wednesday dates. Okay, interesting. So check this out. They have a lucky draw. So if you come, this casino, this is called Sky Casino, which is one of the main casinos here. I don't know how many casinos they have in Genting Highlands. I'm not a casino expert. If you do know, let me know or let us know. But this is the luxury, sorry, lucky draw. So if you do the lucky draw, you could potentially win a smart car, a BMW or a BYD car. I, I think I would want to win the BMW. Smart car, second, BYD is a Chinese name brand car. I don't know how good it is with the reliability, but yeah. See, the Sky Casino is gigantic. And I don't know, guys, should I try my luck? Should I uh, see how much I can win or lose? Because I am, I, I do have a faint blood of Irish in me. So look at the Irish. Okay. I'm probably not gonna bet in the casino, but it'd be kind of cool to show you guys inside. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you guys inside because usually casinos around the world doesn't show. But let me go inside, see how it is. If I can record, I can record. If not, we'll see. So I'll see you in the next shot. Let me go inside. Just want to check it out because why not? I heard they do have some free drinks over there, like some free coffee, some free juices, water, and I don't know what else they have, but let's go inside and check it out. So here's inside of the casino. I don't know how much I can record for you guys, but it's a glimpse of it. If you want to come for yourself, check it out. But yeah, because yeah, so, so many games over here. A lot of people as well, but yeah, just a quick glimpse. Wow, really amazing. And it's multi-level too. I don't know how many levels it is, but yeah. So many people. Check this out. They also have some juice machine over here. The yeah, lychee juice or orange juice. Look how it is. Let's try. Sit down. Not bad. Not bad. Also, they have some hot beverages too. Black coffee. And yeah. Really interesting. Really cool. So, that was the casino. As you know, always the house wins. So I don't advise anybody to gamble or do that kind of stuff because honestly, the odds are against you. So might as well just be good, do work hard, do some great business. Hopefully you make so much money. With that being said, let's check out this indoor theme park over here. This is the indoor theme park of Genting Highlands in Malaysia. We have some big digital LCD screen over there. We have this Ferris wheel. Oh, looks like there's kid painting over here too as well. Bubbles. The bubble people. They're also upstairs as well. Hello. T-shirts, some headwear. Okay. Sky glider. This is really cool. Like, so even if you're not into like gambling and going crazy, even in America, like Las Vegas, isn't all about gambling. It's about like basically it's entertainment, entertainment city. So this is a definitely an entertainment area for your family, for yourself, whatever you're into. I'm sure they have it. There's even I see like a lot of uh, Arabs from uh, the Middle East too. Yeah. So there's people from all over the world over here. Really interesting. Look at that little like boat ship thing over here. This little teacup ride. So I think over here you pay for ride. Look at this, they have this little grab a duck game. Interesting. So I think it's five, I don't know what it is. Five tries for 30. That's what it looks like. 
it was saying, yay, monster, because there's some monster toys over here. Ah, grab the ball game. I mean, grab the ball game, you throw the ball in the bucket and you win it. To be honest, it's like, it's kind of hard for me to talk to you guys and like just see all these different like distractions around me. Distractions and also attractions. There's so many people, it's very loud over here. Oh, there's uh, a lot of go-kart, not bumper cars. Bumper cars over here. Awesome. Fun times here in Genting Highlands, Malaysia. We just left Skytropolis. And I just want to show you real quick that there's a lot of food places you can eat at. There's a lot of like snack shops and then also there's like restaurants too. But be aware some restaurants are halal, some are non-halal. As you can see, it says not how well over there. Depending on your uh, religion, maybe you can eat the food, maybe you cannot. But also, I just want to show you right, real quick over here. It looks like a pretty cool like place to like eat or have a drink. And it's right, it's facing right this like big uh, screen over here. And this is where like the theme park is, the outdoor theme park. Yeah, really cool area. Right now it's a weekday, so it's not that crowded. But I'm sure on the weekend it gets really crowded. Okay, let's walk this way and see more stuff real quick. Restaurants over here. Oh, look at these. Cortez ice cream looks really nice. So from what I've been seeing, the, the prices here for food and also for like drinks and stuff are gonna be a little bit higher than the normal uh, prices you'll find in like Kuala Lumpur. Well, that's because like it's kind of like a resort area-ish kind of thing. So we're in the Las Vegas of Malaysia. So of course you can pay like higher prices. Some Korean place. Hello. Ham cheese toast. You guys can have an idea of like how much are things in this area. Hi, hello. Oh, they're playing some Chinese New Year music. It's really cool. Wow, check this out guys, there's a dragon over here. Dragon. Xing Nian Kuai Le! Xing Nian. And we, ha and we have, oh. Wait, that's a lion, that's not a dragon. Why is that guy dressed up as a lion? No, sorry, that's a tiger. Why is the guy dressed as a tiger? He should be dressed up as a dragon. All right. Wow, look at these decorations too. Wow, so really to describe this complex, literally it's a mall, a theme park, and a casino. Perfect way to describe this. And also, it's a cool area. Cool area as in like, it looks cool and also it's not hot. And while I'm like actually being a little bit cold, I think this is the outdoor entrance over here. Some more food places. Oh, this looks like a supermarket. I don't know how the prices are, but yeah. Oh, look at this mango. Something tropical over here. And yeah, the mango's all cut up. I believe that's guava as well. Mm. Something I love about Malaysia is mangoes. There's a local fruit over here, so you get mangoes for a pretty cheap price compared to other places in the world. Because I'm American, and you get mangoes, it's kind of pricey. But yeah. yeah, look at this. Cold pressed juice. Hi. Let me see. Let me see. What, what, what are they talking about? The cold pressed juice. Yes, sir, sample. Hi. Sample. Oh, cool. What is this? Uh, this one of uh, lychee wonder. Lychee. Lychee wonder. Lychee. Lychee yeah. wonder. Yeah. What? Lychee watermelon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like watermelon color. Yeah. Watermelon. Lychee lemon. Oh, okay. Lychee. Oh, so it's like okay. So it's like a cocktail. Okay. Just gonna. It's actually pretty good. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. They got me on that juice, guys. That sample. Oh, what is this? Japanese Obanayaki pancake. Buy five, get free one. Oh, look at this. They have so many different types of flavors. They have corn and mayo. Wow. Chocolate. Tuna. 
unbelievable. How much is one of them? Just to give you an idea, chocolate. Hi, uh, hello. You guys have, uh, what are these called? Ch Japanese pancakes? Japanese pancakes? Yeah. Well, you got chocolate. Yes. Can you show it in the I can speak a little bit of Chinese. <laughs> All right, let me use my phone for the card. Yes. Sorry? Plastic. Why is it Shama? Yeah, it's time. Plastic. I don't want blue, but it's okay. All right, that's a wrap. Okay. Try this out. Thank you. 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 So we got Mr. Bean. We got a pancake, chocolate pancake. Bye. Oh, they even have a box office ticket show here. All right, before we see the box office ticket show, so the shows they're playing over here, let's eat this pancake. Kind of hungry, so I was like, might as well have a little snack right now. Any place where you could sit down? No, there isn't, unfortunately. I wish they could have some like seating area. That'd be really nice. As always, Bissana. So yeah, let's just give it a try. This is the inside of it. Chocolate. It's fluffy and crispy. The top is crispy. The bottom is fluffy. You see that? Mmm. Really good. Give it another try. Now I have a really good chocolatey bite. Not bad. That's 7.9. Maria, which is about a dollar seventy, dollar eighty USD. Yeah, <laughs> they're good. They have so many different like snack places here. That's what makes me happy. Like, well, I need to lose weight. I don't know why I'm doing this, but for you guys, so please smash the like button and subscribe. Mm. As I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at this. Look, look at this. Mm. So good. One more. One more bite. <laughs> With that being said, guys, we're going to finish this up, so I'll see you in the next shot. Well, that was delicious. If you know me, I love my pancakes, and you should too. I don't think I've never met anybody who, who hates pancakes. Delicious type of food. One of the best in the world. With that being said, this is the box office show tickets place, so they do have a lot of events here too. I heard like previously they had like some Pokemon events and something. I have an English and, uh, and Chinese. So let's say purchase tickets. Pretty advanced. Let's say uh, enter against the rewards card. I don't have one. If you don't have one, just press next. I don't want to hear the advertisements because uh, they didn't pay me on this video for advertising them. But check out like all the different uh, events are happening over here. From what I'm seeing, it's all different Chinese. Yeah, these are all like so interesting. Literally all of the seniors or like all the events are all like for like Chinese people. Like Nick Chong, Leo Ku, Penny Tai, Aaron Kwok. Yeah. The tickets are ranging from like, depending on the event, 192 uh, Malaysian ringgit to 292. For this guy, Aaron Kwok, whoever this guy is, it's like 402. He's getting a seat over there. Please log in to your Gantu Rewards card. So I guess this is also a rewards card machine here too. So if you love going to Genting Highlands, love gambling, and uh, love just blowing your money and hopefully winning, uh, then become a member. That being said, somebody was telling me that this is the way to go to Sky World. Who was that somebody? It was me. I was telling myself. No, because I just see a lot of signs. It says Skyward, uh, Skyworld, Genting. And that guy's pointing that way, but it should be this way. <laughs> Why is he pointing the opposite direction? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Oh, yeah, now I'm feeling like... Uh, and it, look on the ground, guys. It's pretty wet over here. I don't know why, but I guess because we're out in the sky, there's a lot of fog and... Fog and... I don't know how come it's so wet, but yeah. 
and I'm feeling a little bit chilly right now, I'm not gonna lie. Put on my hood, put on my hoodie. That's better. I would not have chocolate on my face. <laughs> Hello. All right, check this out, guys. Where are we at? We in Sky World. You know, actually, they have the world's largest hotel, believe it or not, here in Genting Highlands in Malaysia. I never knew they had the world's largest hotel. It's called One World Hotel or something. If I find it, we'll go to it. But check this out. To be honest, I'm a little bit too old for theme parks. Like, I, I, I don't know, I would love to go to it, but I'm not really into it. Like, if I was a little kid, like my nieces and nephews, they would love that. Tickets over here, I believe. Let's see how much are the tickets, just in case you want to join in. And we'd see the hour. Let's see, the hour timings. Standard, so let me see. So above is, all right, so for average adult is 189 ringgit. And then depending, if you come with like family and stuff, you could probably get a cheaper price. Standard, my cat, I don't know what the difference is. One day ticket, 113, let me ask. Excuse me, how much is the normal like one day ticket? Oh, I gotta put the headset on. Uh, how much is like the one day ticket? Huh? One person, 290. For adult? Yeah. 290. And you guys are open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Yeah. All right, cool, thank you. All right, well, you heard it from here. So one person is actually not 189, correct me. 290, that's expensive. That's like 60, 70 bucks. I don't know, it's, to me, I don't know if it's worth it or not. If you ever been here, let me know. Let me show you the directory real quick. So, show you what attractions they have. But 290, honestly, for the timing from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., yeah, I don't know, it's kind of, 290, what is that in U.S. dollars? I'm like trying to calculate in my head. Yeah, to me, it's not really worth it. It's kind of overly priced. Because it's only open from, it's only open for seven hours a day. Ah, okay, cool. That being said, let me roam around this area a little bit. Is this the world's largest hotel? One of these hotels are the world's largest hotels. I don't know which one it is. Let me do my research a little bit. Find out and see if we can go inside of it. That being said, I'll catch you in the next shot. Check it out. We have just made it in front of the world's largest, biggest hotel. So this is how the front entrance looks like. Check it out. They have a convention center over there. And yeah, let's enter and see how it is. See the decorations, check out the lobby area. It's connected to where we're just at. But yeah, hotel, first world, welcome. As I told you, Malaysia likes to do everything big. And let me just show you this real quick. 7,351 rooms, first world hotel. It even has a Genesis World Records certificate. Check that out as of June 20th, 2015. Let me show you guys. I'm telling you, Malaysia does it big. <laughs> wow, it's so beautiful inside of here. Let's just walk around and see how it is. Something was very interesting about Malaysia. Check this out, bro. Check this out, guys. I said, bro, uh, they have a place where you could pray. They have a hospital. They have a woman and, woman and male's bathroom, which is normal. But what's kind of interesting is they have a place where you could pray, but also this is like uh, the Las Vegas casino area too. It's not just people who want to gamble come over here. People that just want to have fun, want to see some entertainment, you can come here too. So if you're not into gambling, don't get me wrong, like, you can still come here. Or get me right. I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but yeah, just look at this. So beautiful, the ceilings. Wow. How can I say, like, what is the atmosphere over here? I can do it myself. And they have it in Chinese too. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I can speak Chinese. Pac-Man Battle Royale. 
Oh, like I never knew, I never seen this before. I believe, yeah, this is the reception desk over here, the main reception, and then this is like for extra reception. But right now it's a weekday, so they don't have that. But we're having a little bit of like I feel like some European Greek type of like architecture kind of stuff over here. Let's walk around a little bit. Wow, it's the old school Pac-Man. Oh, actually, it's not Pac-Man. This is uh, ice hockey. Ice hockey, what is it called? I don't know. It's with the puck and stuff. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, sometimes I feel like I'm not a native English speaker. The reason that is is because uh, I've been out here in Asia. A lot of people really speak basic English. I have to remember, keep on practicing my English. It's starting to fade away. The hotel over here. Get the guy fixing the elevator. Awesome. I can't believe 7,351 rooms. More than Las Vegas. When it comes to hotel rooms, bigger than Las Vegas. When it comes to like, casinos, definitely go to Las Vegas. And why am I kind of, why am I comparing it to Las Vegas? This is what everyone called, compares it to, so that's why I'm comparing it to. Got some place over here. So let me just show you the wow. They have roti janai. Roti janai is a famous Malaysian breakfast food. You usually get it for like two ringgit which is like 30, 40 cents USD here. It's nine, so it's like $2 something. Definitely the food is overly priced over here, but then again, you're on top of a mountain and kind of like a resort area. So what do you expect? World's largest hotel. They even give you the Genesis World's record certificate one more time. Just in case if you don't know, the Malaysia book records. What is this? What is this Malaysia book records? We're still looking through the largest uh, renewable energy hot water system. So it has a lot of records. And inside of this hotel, there's a lot of things over here too. Watson's, which is like, uh, oh, oh, we got this beautiful lady over here too. Oh, she's, oh, look at this one shoe lady. The one, I asked her, like, why is she limping on one shoe? That's how it is over here in Genting Highlands. Uh, yeah, this is like a pharmacy. Watson's, if you don't know, it's like a, Kind of like a CVS. And if you know what CVS is, it's just like basically a pharmacy store that has everything. <laughs> that girl was hilarious. Beautiful dress and one shoe. Uh, what else do we have over here? <laughs> just some Chinese herbal place, I guess. Very fish ball. Actually, no, what is this? I said herbal place, I don't know. So they have, oh, let's go inside. Laksa pa, mm. pretty pa, hello, kaya puff, coconut, salted egg puff, butter puffs. And they got some like stuff. I guess there's here like the Chinese New Year. Healing touch foot spa. Man, my foot, my left foot is messed up, guys. If you have any good foot spa, please let me know. My left foot, like the the. The heel of it is messed up. Please, if you know, let me know. You know any place. Uh, first world hotel lobby. So I think you have an idea of how it looks like. Uh, let me know, should I book a room next time? It's only one hour away from Kuala Lumpur, which I can take a bus to, but yeah. Oh, they even have a barber shop here too. And then if we keep on walking straight to the left, this is where I just came from. This is where we're gonna go to the main place, the casino, to the indoor theme park and other stuff. Yeah guys, but I just wanted to give you that real quick and let's discover more of Genting Highlands. Well, my bus is about to leave in an hour, so I have to get back down to where we first started the video. Let me give you one last glimpse and now let's take the cable car back to when we started and yeah, hopefully I can get a bite to eat over there because I do not want to miss this bus back to Kuala Lumpur because it's an hour long ride. Let's check it out. Time to hand the tickets. Let's go inside. Uh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Okay, fine. All right, now it's okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Let's go on the cable car. It looks so foggy from outside. It's like you can't even see from what's happening outside. 
Look at look how long the line can be. Gigantic. All right. See what's going on over here. One person. I'll take the next one. Uh, maybe I can go by myself. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's see. Can I go by myself? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That'd be awesome. Please, by myself. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. VIP service, they're really nice. And plus, there's nobody really behind me, and now people are coming. So I'm all alone in a cable car, but check this out. Oh, so I dropped my ticket. Wow, it looks like it's raining a lot outside. Oh no. I'm stuck alone in the cable car. Oh, that one's even empty. Let's go! Woo! Traveling solo logs in the cable car. That's what I'm talking about, all by myself. Yeah, look at that, it's very cloudy. That says Market Lakeside. Wow. Welcome to Malaysia, guys. So beautiful. Oh, and I have to be careful. It says warning. What is it? Got a little door. It closes automatically in case of emergency. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I should just basically be careful just balancing this. So this is a diamond cabin. And it, uh, it takes up to 750 kg and 10 people. Wow. Look at this. Whole wide out. They have a USB charger over here. USB charger over there. Kind of cool. I did not notice this last time I was here. I didn't even have these like little windows over here too you could open up. So get some more fresh air. It says do not stand up, sit down. But it's okay, it's one person. I'm not moving too much. Management shall handle over the, to the police. A person vandalizes and steals and attempts to remove any equipment in the gondola. Yeah. Really cool. Here in a gondola by myself in Malaysia. Dancing Sky World. Bye bye. Gansey Highlands, till next time. All right, guys, you know what? I think I'm gonna finish up the video now. I may add some other stuff if I find some other stuff. But as always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and let me know what you thought about Gansey Highlands. This is a great glimpse of how it is. So whenever you come here, you'll be prepared and you'll know what to do. And if you have any more questions, please let me know and I'll try to answer it as much as I know to my knowledge and I'll try to research it if I don't know your answers. But yeah, one more glimpse. Beautiful area, definitely. If you can come, come. It's definitely worth a day trip in Malaysia. Even two days, one hour away from Kuala Lumpur, definitely worth it. I'm just so glad to show you another area here in Malaysia. Definitely love the country and you should too. So uh, yeah, if you want to watch more videos around the world, click somewhere up on the screen. That being said, guys, we're going to head back down, go on the bus, grab a bite to eat, and I'll see you next time. Peace.